Hello everyone, this is Dan Calloway, and thanks for tuning in to the uh, All Things Linux Unix channel. And today I want to uh, show you how to install OpenBSD 6.3 um, and uh, configure some of the things with, with OpenBSD 6.3. Now we're going to be doing the um, uh, TTY or terminal only, we're not going to be using a GUI here. But I want to show you uh, how to install the sets, uh, the proper way to do it, the way I do it anyway. So it should be uh, instructional for you, and you should be able to follow the instructions uh, that you see on the screen and uh, install your own uh, version of OpenVSD 6.3 as well. So let's get into it. Okay, um, I'm in my uh, Windows 10 machine, and uh, I'm going to fire up OpenBSD 6.3 after I install it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Virtual Machine, Oracle Virtual Box, and I've already got two BSD versions here. So I'm going to click New, and I'm name it OpenBSD 6.3, and then it's BSD 64-bit. Um, I'm going to click Next, and then I'm going to give it uh, 2 gigs of RAM, so I'm going to bump that up to 2048. Click Next, and then I'm going to create a virtual hard disk. I'm going to have the VDI disk image. Click Next, make it dynamically allocated. Uh, click Next, and I'm going to change the VDI space to 60 gigs. Um, and then create. All right, once I've created the VDI, the virtual hard disk, I'm going to I'm going to move uh, that up here underneath the other BSDs. Click the settings button and I'm going to click system, click processor. I'm going to bump it up to two processors since I have two processors on the machine. On the host, um, I'm going to go down to storage. I'll select the empty optical drive and I'm going to navigate over to the uh, install 63.iso file. Alright, and once I get that then I'm going to come down to audio and click that. Make sure I've got to enable audio uh, output and then network. Uh, enable the network adapter and select the bridged adapter so that my uh, OpenBSD 6.3 will have the same IP address range as my host. Alright, once I've done that, then I'm going to go up, select OpenBSD 6.3 and click Start. Go ahead and start it. It should boot up on the install 6.3.iso file. I'll click View to full screen. Alright, and so we're getting started here with creating OpenBSD 6.3 Unix uh, image here. It's actually now booting up on the install 63.iso. It says, welcome, uh, what do you want to do? You want to install, do you want to upgrade, uh, auto uh, install, I'm going to go I for install. And then choose your keyboard layout, I'm going to use the default, hit enter. Alright, and then the system host name, I'm going to just call it OpenBSD, enter. Um, which network interface you want to use? It's on the correct one, EM0. Just hit enter here. All right, and then the IP address, on the, uh, HTTP uh, method here, or DHCP rather, I mean, and it's going to then go out and get a an IP address from the DHCP server, which it did, 192.168.168, and then. Um, here I'm going to tell it next because I don't want uh, IPv6. The DNS server here is going to be, or DNS uh, name rather, domain is going to be my.openbsd63. Hit enter. Uh, I'm going to give root a password, so I'm going to enter that password now. And then uh, I'm going to enter it again. 
All right, then I'm going to ask, ask me if I want to start SSH. I say yes. Uh, do you want to request uh, run the X window? Yeah. And um, do you want the X window to start automatically? No. All right, and then uh, set up a user. I'm going to set up Data Pioneer. And I'm going to give it my proper name, Dan Calloway. Uh, password for Data Pioneer, I'm going to go ahead and put that in and then repeat that. Uh, allow root to uh, SSH login. It's set default by no. I'm going to type in yes. Uh, what time zone are you in? It's in the correct one, which is uh, America, New York. But I'm, you can put a question mark in there, and you can see you've got different regions of the world that you can select. And if I typed in America and then forward slash, then it would give me a new list, and I could select New York. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter here. Um, the available disk disk is WD0. Uh, select that, yes. I want a whole disk MBR, so I'm going to hit W, enter. All right, and, um, and this is, gives me the layout here. I'm going to do an auto layout. So A is the default. So hit the enter key here, and it goes out and creates that uh, structure you see above. And the partitioning now is done here, and uh, so let's go ahead and install the sets. Yes, I do want to do that. I want to use the HTTP method. Uh, that's because the path is set automatically. Uh, I'm just going to take all the defaults here. FTP.USA.OpenBSD.org uh, Server directory by default, select that one. And then here are all the sets. Now I don't do games, so I don't need games. So I'm going to delete the games here. So I'm going to use a minus games uh, 63.tgz and notice now the X is missing from the bracketed area, which means it won't install that. I'm going to go ahead and hit done here for uh, the names. All right, now it's going to go ahead and go out and fetch uh, all of these sets and verify them, which is really nice because it does the verification up front. Uh, with the SHA-256 hash, uh, verifies everything. So it's going to go in order, BSD, uh, BSD MP, which is BSD multiboot. Now I had two processors, so it will use the BSD multiboot, not the BSD when it comes up. I could have eliminated the BSD altogether if I really wanted to. All right, it's going to now go out to the BSD RD. Uh, and then when it gets to the base, it's probably going to take a little longer, so I'm going to pause the video. Uh, I don't want to have you sit through that. Yeah, it's going to be four minutes or so. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and then come back when it's completed. All right, it's completed and then getting the last one. Now it's installing everything. And um, when this installation is completed, uh, then uh, we'll move on from there. So it's installing all the sets right now for OpenBSD 6.3 Unix. All right, location of the sets. I just hit done here because I'm, I'm finished. Does the time appear wrong? No, it's correct. It's July 22nd. Uh, correct time looks good. Enter. And it's making all the device nodes. Um, and it's uh, using, it says it's using bsd.mp for multiboot. It's relinking to create a unique kernel. And um, now I need to exit and I need to eject the, uh, the optical drive and uh, go ahead and restart it here. And now it'll boot up on the hard drive when it, re when it restarts, not on the I install 63.iso. All right, so now it is booting up on the hard drive, which is the virtual hard drive that I created, the 60 gigabyte virtual hard drive. Um, going to go through its boot process here for BSD Unix, which is a little different from Linux. Uh, it's reordering the libraries. It's doing a bunch of stuff. Uh, it's installing the Intel firmware that it detected detected that the virtual disk uh, 
system that has an Intel processor, dual core. So it's checking for available binaries now for patches. One of the things you want to do when you install OpenBSD or any BSD for that matter is syspatch the system as soon as you can. And so as soon as this comes up and tells me that it's found available binary patches, I'm going to run syspatch. Something you don't have to do in Linux, but you do have to do in uh, Unix. All right, so I found a few. So let's go ahead and log in as root. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, type root and root's password. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, type in syspatch, hit enter, and let it install uh, syspatch. And it should be, I believe, 10, 10 or 11 patches it needs to install there from that list above. Um, you notice that there is no GUI here. Uh, that was by default, or it was intentional. Uh, I installed the server, not the uh, desktop GUI. Uh, later on, if I want to install the GUI, I can. I can install GNOME uh, 3 if I want to, 3.6.2, or I can install X XFCE if I, if I choose to do that. Then I would have a server with the GUI. Uh, which will be fine, but for now um, I'm comfortable in the, uh, the terminal, so we'll just leave it that way. And I'll show you a couple of things that I'm going to do here in the terminal. It's actually a TTY uh, in the Unix world. Okay, so it's installing uh, patch number 8, I believe, 9. doesn't take very long to do this. This uh, syspatching the system here just is a good thing because it brings it up to date uh, so you don't have any problems with uh, dependencies and that kind of thing. Uh, should just be about ready to wrap up here. I think it's got one more patch to do. Um, OpenBSD is one that I haven't uh, used before. I've used GhostBSD and I've also used FreeBSD but not OpenBSD. A lot of people don't like it. Uh, it's a little harder to work with than uh, the others, but uh, I'm going to give it a go here and see what I can do. Alright, so looks like uh, it's going to be installing the final patch and then we should be at a point where we can log in again. Actually it'll take us back to the prompt. It's relinking again for the unique kernel that it's creating uh, because now it is patched. Now you notice we've got a, a pound sign so we're is in root right now. Uh, uname R tells us that we're at 6.3. Uname A tells us that we do have OpenBSD installed. There's the domain for it. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and uh, do an IF config, and you notice that I've got an IP address 192.168.1.134 for DHCP. I'm going to do an SU Data Pioneer and get in as Data Pioneer's environment. Now I've got a dollar sign. I'm in Home Data Pioneer directory, and I'm going to do an LS uh, long form human readable, and you'll notice that nothing came up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an MKDIR. Uh, documents and create a documents folder or directory. I want to repeat that and create a downloads directory. I want to tab up or up arrow and then uh, backspace and then create uh, with make mkdr dir. I'm going to create a music directory. I'm going to do the same here and create a pictures directory. Uh, and then I'm going to do one final directory I'm going to create. I'm going to create a videos directory. Then I'm going to do another listing out and see if those were created. All right, and there they are. So we've got all the directories now created. We can start loading them up in uh, OpenBSD 6.3. I'm going to go ahead and exit and get out of this. And uh, so this was an installation of uh, OpenBSD 6.3 Unix. And uh, it brought us up to the login screen um, for the terminal. 
and come on and go ahead and close this power down and get out of it uh, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and have a nice day